in order to develop safe ADAS ID function, it is essential to have a solid understanding of what an automotive system can expect when released. In a sense, we capture the real world and digitalize it for the purpose of using it for requirements development and testing of the autonomous, autonomous system. So we also generate insights about the actual operational design domain. Yeah, the data um, is processed through several steps. Yeah, within these steps, the objects, for example, vehicles, cyclists, pedestrians, in the collected data are identified and annotated. Um, beside that, the movement relative to the ego vehicle, um, which is doing the data collection, can be evaluated. And based on that evaluation, the scenarios, for example, an overtaking can be found um, and stored in the catalog. So with every hour of driving, the understanding of the actual operational design domain uh, is getting better and better and becomes more complete. So beside that, we also get more and more scenarios that we can store in our catalog. We store two different types of information. The first type um, is the type of the scenario. For example, it could be a cut-in or an overtaking or a heartbreaking. Um, the type of the scenario is stored in a way that it can be uh, reproduced in the simulation environment, for example, yeah, with all relevant moving and non-moving objects. Um, the second type of information that is stored are the actual parameters in the scenario. Um, which could be the ego velocity, the distance to the other objects, and lots more of that. And it's also possible um, to get deviations out of that previously mentioned parameters. Yeah, the scenarios can be used to create test plans. For example, um, these test plans can be created by AVL seniors based on the parameter deviations. Besides that, the catalog can also be used to argue why a specific ODD was selected. With this approach, it is possible to collect empirical data, process the data and annotate the information. Um, this annotated data can then be analyzed and used to create realistic test plans that have a high confidence and can then be used for the simulation afterwards.